So to first start your heart, you need to decide whether you're going to have your paper like this, you're going to have it facing um, landscape style, or if you're going to have it nice and tall or portrait style. And then on your desk, you should have a bag and there's two different options of hearts. So I'm going to pull them out. There's obviously this heart shape um, fits this way, but you also have a tall one like this that fits portrait style. So it's really up to you. You can decide whichever one you want. I'm going to go ahead and do this tall one and trace it with a pencil. And then you're going to get your ruler and divide up your paper into different sections like Romero Brito did. So um, you can either have your lines go all the way across every single time or you can just go, I'm going to do this one all the way across. Or you can go from the outside just to the edge of the heart and that's it. It's totally up to you. Um, don't do too many lines, otherwise it's going to take you forever to finish. You also don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to because you're just going to go in with an ink dauber and you can't use a ruler for your ink dauber. So if you just want to go ahead and go straight on in with a, reg with a pencil and do your lines that way, that's fine too. I'm just going to go ahead and trace over my lines. Okay, and before you start painting, you need to make sure that all of the ink is dry, okay? Because if it's wet, like I said, all of your paint is gonna mix together. So um, mine's pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on. If you're not sure, please ask, because I would hate for you to ruin your paper. I'm gonna go ahead and get my paintbrush wet. We are using the neon paints for this project. Um, and you're just doing solid colors, okay? So in each section, you're choosing one color and painting the whole thing that one color. And once you have painted in a solid color in each section, I want you to be done for the day. We will finish adding designs next week, but I want to make sure our um, papers are nice and dry. So don't worry about doing anything else. Take this to the drying rack and um, we'll finish up next week. Okay, so now that our paper is dry and all of our paint is dry, you're gonna take neon oil pastels and you're gonna add different designs in each section. But you're just doing lines and designs. Oh, this orange actually shows up pretty well. <laughs> 